Before starting this video, a quick shout out to all my subscribers. Again, thank you guys for the sub. I really appreciate it. And I do hope you would like my future videos. Including this one. Okay, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to create simple web page banners you can post on your um, accounts or your web pages. It really depends on you. And again, I'm just going to show you some basic applications you can do with GIMP. So, the idea behind this is from Mr. Jai here, one of my subscribers. He's a cool rapper. You might want to check out his channel as well as his MySpace account. So thanks for the idea, sir, and let's get started. Well, I know I had featured GIMP in a lot of videos of mine before, so you might want to check those out as well. And GIMP is a freeware program that is pretty much like Photoshop. So anyway, let's get started. I'm going to do some simple web banners, and this is, well, it's quite simple to do it's quick also so let's get started you go to file then go to new then uh, you go to the template you expand this and you have an option between the web banner common which is 468 by 60 pixels or the web banner huge which is 728 by 90 pixels so I'm just going to go with common, hit OK. And I know my background is pretty boring by now. But anyway, I'm just going to change this to black because I really like black with my fill tool. And then I'm going to use the application I had discussed with making abstract wallpapers. That's right, I'm going to use abstract flames to be my background here in my banner so I'm just going to choose um, my foreground and background colors I'm just going to go with certain types of green or shades of green like so then just go to filters now go to render I'm just going to show you that so you go to filters, then go to render, then go to nature, and then go to flame, like so. So the flame um, window will pop up, so you can change um, your view by zooming in or zooming out, like so. You can change the X offset, the Y offset, or basically just change the pattern. So you have, you have a variety of patterns here like um, swirl, linear, horseshoe, but I'll go with spherical, like so. So I'll go with this one. Hit OK if you're satisfied. And just wait for your background to be loaded. So here we are kind of looks like my wallpaper I know so this is with the use of the render filter you could also use the other filters for your background or simply well use your image you could also paste your image just cut it from a certain image and then paste it to your banner so you can do that as well okay now we add our text so go to the text tool like so choose your font style your font size and your font color so I'm just going to go with the white then hit your area your text editor will pop up and type in whatever you want to type in so this contains your message or your text or whichever you want to put in. So you select the move tool to put the text in place. Like so. And I know it's pretty boring at the moment, but I'm going to show you a neat effect you can do with your text. So I'm going to make it transparent. 
so basically go to layer okay layer and then go to transparency so I'm just going to move it to show you here we go layer then transparency then alpha to selection so it should look like this one then you go to your text tool select your text and then go to the path from text button so you hit that so after you had done all that you go to select and we're going to shrink the areas you, well we had selected so go to shrink we're going to shrink it by two pixels and it should look like this one so after this I'm just going to cut the selection by hitting control X like so so it's pretty much transparent now but we're not done yet all right you go to your layers window like so and you create a new layer with our new layer I'm going to hide the other layers we're going to paste what we had cut so hit control V like so and then we're going to reduce its opacity like so we're going to make it transparent like that and then we're going to anchor this one with our new layer that we had created by hitting right click and then anchor layer like so so we're going to show our original text like so and then we go to the move tool to be able to um, fit our transparent color like so so if you're satisfied with that um, we open our background like so and here is your banner so what I had done is basically use a couple of layers and then make my text transparent so if you want an animated banner all you have to do is pass this to an animation filter you could also do some layers this is an example of passing to an animated layer this is the ripple effect this one is the burn in effect and this one is basically by using layers so I do hope you had learned from that um, thanks for watching this video and you have any questions just message me on YouTube check out my YouTube partners on my channel and thanks for watching guys just have fun